Let's put something else too high. Today is going to be a very busy day, but I didn't realize that. It's gonna be an all day thing for me. But before I show you my day, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. It's around 6.30 in the morning, and my idea of a perfect cup of coffee is Dunkin's or Pete's, a splash of half and half and no sugar for me. So let's get the water in, get the pot brewing, and let's go open up the girls' curtains and let some fresh sunshine in, and that early morning um, feeling and just quietness that an early morning brings. So let's get started and I will take you along today and show you what we do. Here Titus is pulling up from Lowe's and he has bought eight pine boards that are about seven and a half inches um, wide and 12 feet long but we only need like right under 12 feet for the girls bedroom and I'm gonna do my best to explain the process it's super easy it just takes like physical strength and my shoulders literally felt like I worked out after I got done with these boards but Titus offered to help but I wanted to do it just so I knew what I wanted and I just took a hammer and literally pounded the boards random. Just, I used it as an, um, I hit the boards with the hammer at an angle so it'd leave dents. I took a screwdriver and just kind of slanted it into the wood and hammered it until it pulled up a strip of wood, leaving an exposed, like raw, rough looking part that the wood has been taken out. The girls offered to come out and help. And I was kind of nervous on this first board because I was thinking, oh, you know, you gotta just do it a certain way, but they they wouldn't hurt it. It it is so random just the way you just hit and add dents. And I would take the hammer and um, just like I said, randomly take out parts of the 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 wood. So it left deep crevices and I wanted it to be really old and beaten up looking. I would also take the hammer and hit the very side of the edges of the board so it would just kind of soften the, the square look. I wanted more of a soft look. So that's what you see me there doing is just hitting the edges and I'm using kind of a, a wider flat head screwdriver. I think that's what it's called. And each board took me about an hour and I would get a little bit quicker each board because I got I come to realize that it didn't matter as long as you did the same thing on each board and I took the flathead screwdriver and literally scraped lines down the whole thing I worked in about a three foot section so that's why I'm stopping at a certain spot because then I would just scoot down and then keep working but I just took it and scraped long deep crevices in the wood just like hard so it left literal like grooves in the wood and I know it sounds funny but it worked and you could distress your board as much as you want or as little as you know as little as you want I wanted a very old looking distress board so that's why I went very aggressive I guess with the distressing and um, so yeah let's just keep watching and I'll show you what it looks like up close.
I took quite a rough piece of sandpaper and just went really quickly down the wood just to get the splinters off. I used a dark walnut with with one coat, which surprisingly turned out the perfect color I was shooting for, which was a wicker basket in the girl's bedroom, which I'll show you later. And I just, it, this part is the easy part. Um, the only thing I would do is when I would dip my rag in the stain, the first uh, dip I would go and really get those crevices because those crevices look really old and aged. I mean, it's perfect. And Colin is over here playing with Violet, and um, so yeah, I'm just staining the first board. And right about here, I realized, okay, I'm only gonna get one beam done today. So. Mom, if you could get three done today, what would you do? Okay, and then get three All right, you guys, it's kind of showing up a little bit lighter, but. Um, it really matches what I was going for was the color of the wicker. The girls are outside playing and then the color of that basket. That's what I was really shooting for. And I, this, the board looks very similar to this basket. In fact, I should get it down, but I just don't feel like it. Um, let me get up close. Looks really aged and beat up. And I wouldn't think this was a brand new piece of board. It's kind of tricky. Um, it's like you think you're just over like doing an area, but you're really not. Um, you can see knots. So I took a screwdriver and knotted those out right there. And then the stain kind of sets in, which really makes it look super old. So that's kind of a close-up of what the whole entire board looks like. What do you guys think? Um, it's the color I was wanting. I wasn't wanting too dark and I wasn't wanting too light. So can you guys see the how I was trying to match the wicker? Um, I have to fill in those two, these little spots right there with a Q-tip because I overlooked that. But I did one coat and I'm not doing any more coats because... Um, I don't want it to get too dark. So other than getting a Q-tip and dabbing those areas, this board is done. And it really matches the wicker well. So I gotta go to the next, how many pieces? I have five pieces left to go. And it took me about an hour to do this board. I was just going to show you guys, this is what the boards look like before. All right, we have a late dinner. We usually never eat at 7.30 and we I was so tired from doing the beams and everything that we got pizza. So we got pepperoni and pineapple. I had to think because I'm so tired. <laughs> Looks really good. Domino's isn't my favorite, but um, it's better than having to cook tonight. So I'll take it. And then we got oops, bread bites, which is usually what I eat. I probably won't even have a piece of pizza, so this is dinner. Here, Titus is measuring the length of the ceiling so he can cut a proper measurement. And then um, he's going along finding the studs and marking them on the ceiling. And then he just puts a, a piece of the pine that I didn't obviously stain or distress because no one will see it and marks where the studs should be um, on the board according to the ceiling. So when we get the board up there, he can just shoot the nail in and it'd be a little bit easier for him.
Oh my word, that looks so, so good. So Titus is just screwing this board in. And honestly, if this was stained, I would think this was just as pretty flat as a box. Uh, Mom, it almost makes it look And easier. I knew that in my head, but now I'm seeing it and I was right. Carrie's like, no, you can't do that. Hey, sawdust is falling down. And I knew I could. So I think this would be so pretty if this was just stained. A flat board. It looks really pretty. I think this is gonna look nice, you guys. So he's just testing out the stuff uh that board to make sure it's like secure. Probably. He <sighs> thinks so funny. It's really dark room. <laughs> Had I known I was gonna be hanging beams, I would have hung the beams before I put the trim on over the ship lap, but I didn't realize that. So Titus is just cutting out the little piece of trim right there so the boards will slide all the way into the wall. And we have one side up and we've nailed both ends in and now he's just going along making sure um, that, you know, he's just going down the whole length of the beam and just nailing it in. So super simple, super easy. So as you see, we got both sides on. We have the middle board pushed in the middle of the two side boards. And he is just uh, putting nails through the side so it connects with the so it connects with the middle board on the side. So hope that makes sense. And he's just shooting the nails straight in. So it's nice and secure and just makes a really nice pretty box. And I'm super thankful that Titus puts up with all of my home improvement schemes that I just lay in bed and think about. And I was nervous about this project because I, I don't mind DIYs. I just don't like it to look like a DIY, you know? I want it to look like authentic. And I'm just thankful to the Lord because it turned out exactly what I seen in my head and the exact color. So... I'm just really thankful and I'm, I think it just set the girls' room off so pretty and it really set the chandelier off, you guys. So, what do you guys think? They look awesome. Actually, that's pretty good. They look incredible. The crazy thing about the beams is that it made the girls' ceiling appear taller. And other than touching up some paint and re in some trim around the shiplap, the girls' room is finally finished and I couldn't be happier with it.